Hello community! Today we have the Orchard dataset. Finally, we have the open Orchard dataset to be specific. You remember exactly here one month ago, Microsoft Research here published here Orchard progressive learning from complex traces of GPT-4. So this is simply a little 13 billion parameter model that uses here some intelligence of GPT-4. And of course, it until this very moment at recording this video, the data set is not available, not published by Microsoft, and the model is not available, not published by Microsoft. But Microsoft says this is an open source model, so congratulations! And maybe we should be a little bit more careful when we believe the marketing slogan by Microsoft Research. What is the content of the paper? We go from instruction tuning to explanation tuning. My goodness, is this a sexy new wording? So, in case, instruction tuning. Our beloved classical instruction tuning. Technique allows pre-trained language model to learn from input and response pairs. So, easy example. We have here an input, the quickly brown fox jumped, and an output, the brown fox jumped quickly. And now the instruction we give as a user to GPT-4 is, hey, instruction, arrange the words in the given sentence to form a grammatically correct sentence. So you have my quirky input and then the perfect output that the system should learn and we give it an instruction. Now the nice thing why we do this, instruction tuning has been applied to both language only and multimodal tasks with vision transformers. So for the LLMs only, instruction tuning has been shown to improve the zero shot and the few shot performance of models such as Flan and InstructGPT on various benchmarks. So this increases with the training here our performance. Now, what is the big step upwards to our Orca explanation tuning? Easy, two steps. We augment our query response pair here with a detailed response from GPT-4. And we ask GPT-4, hey, this is the query, this is the response. Now, please, GPT-4, tell me, how would you explain the reasoning process to go from the query to the response? And they record here the GPT-4 answer, which is, of course, you have to pay for this. And then, second major step, they have now the system instruction that they add to this query response GPT-4 explanation terms. And for their system instruction, you notice this is uh, like, explain like I'm five years old or think step by step or justify your response. So whatever the inst system instruction are, and there are 15 system instruction I'm gonna show you in a second, this is the great new advantage of Orker. You ask GPT-4 to explain the query response pair and you add here a system instruction, one of 15 predefined system instruction by Microsoft that were hand-drafted. So where you take the data from? I mean, now we have a methodology, but what is our base data set? We have, and now this is funny, because Microsoft uses here the Google Flan 2022 collection. The free Google Flan 2022 collection that is really open source. And Microsoft uses this open source and does not provide us with the resulting Orca data set. So thank you for nothing, Microsoft Research. So they use the Flan collection to provide an extensive public assortment of tasks. They use the latest, the Flan uh, 2022 collection. They have high templates, yes, yes, yes. And they say, even though Flan holds tens of millions of instruction, we selectively choose only some of them. We sample from the complete collection to form a diverse mixture of tasks. So what they do, they collect 5 million chat GPT responses here, from which 1 million is further sampled to have a GPT-4 response. This is it. This is all there is. So they build upon the Flan, the Google Flan 2022 collection, and they just select 5 million responses from these tens of millions of instruction as they write in their Orca paper. If you are not familiar, the Flan Collection 2022 
was published February 14, 2023, and they explain here in detail what they did. Great, amazing paper. What we focus on, if we use this training data set, we outperform our work from 3 to 17% plus on across evaluation settings. So we can get better results for our model. Google open source told you Google research plan. Here you have it, Flan, last month, a new update here, Flan Instruction Tuning Repository. So you have here the original Flan from 2021, and then you have the new version 2, the 2022 Flan collection, and it's great. You can go there, download it, or Hugging Face is, of course, the solution of choice. And there was Phil Schmidt, and he has now the updated Flan version 2 repo for you. There's the dataset viewer. And if you want, you see here exactly input and target and all the data of our flan is there. Beautiful. This is it. Now that we have the flan as the base, let's see what Microsoft did with here this explanation tuning. So at first they added here, as they say, this instruction. Now, normally we have a user instruction. And here the, Microsoft decided to give us this very intelligent example user instruction to GPT-4, answer this question. Now, now you're amazed, I know this. And the input, the real query that we have is, what small lake lies between Gottesman? Windermere and Grasmere, I suppose we are in the Scottish Highlands. So this is what we normally do before the intelligence of Microsoft sets in. So this is our instruction tuning, maybe not really the most intelligent version, but okay. And the output then is, yes, Rydal water lies between Windermere and Grossmere, as a British gentleman would say. Great. So what is now the new thing with Orker? Orker, as you can see, has now here a system instruction. And it is amazing. You would never have guessed this. This system instruction, for example, is telling it, hey, GPT-4, you are an AI assistant. I know, breathtaking. Users will give you a task. Hold your breath. Hold your breath. This, this is amazing. Your goal is to complete the task as faithfully as you can. Now you are blown away by the intelligence. I can feel it. So while performing the task given to you, think step by step and justify your steps. So what we have is more or less a chain of thought instruction. So this is now the new system instruction point two, as I told you. Then we have here the old fashioned user instruction answer this query breathtaking in its intelligence itself and then we have the query which small lake lies between Wondermere and Grossmere in the Scottish Highlands and now you see with this beautiful we go to GPT-4 we pay here API yes you know and we ask hey GPT-4 explain to us how you would find the answer and GPT-4 comes back and says hey to answer this question, I will search for information about a small lake located between Wondermere and Grossmere. So I have to step one, identify the location. Step two, research for the lake in the lake district. Step three, find a small lake between Wondermere and Grossmere. So this is now here our new training data set where we suck the blood out of GPT-4 to finally understand how GPT-4 or GPT systems think. And we try this now here as our extended instruction tuning, which with Orca we call now explanation tuning. <laughs> yes. And this is it. This is all there is to it. Nothing else. So, yes. 15 system messages. You might wonder. I showed you here the system instruction in yellow. Look, you're an assistant, justify your steps. And there are exactly 15 hand drafted system messages by Microsoft. And as you see here, number seven is exactly here from the catalog of system messages, you and a assistant uh, step by step and justify your steps. Beautiful. So those 15 Microsoft decided will be enough to explain the world. And we are so thankful to Microsoft Research. Now, Orca, what is the main topic of Orca? Orca is trained to imitate GPT-4 for a much lower cost for a much cheaper uh, financial setup for uh, Microsoft Research. And of course, Orca has not been released to the world. Unbelievable. I have no idea why. 
since it's open source. And you see what's really the message is you combine here the, if you want LLM of the time here, Vicuna, the 13 billion parameter model, which was here in the leaderboard, more or less under the first best performing open source instruction LLMs and they show, show that Orca, now in the same size, is so much better than Vicuna. But of course they had to have a title, so they wanted to imitate GPT-4, but as you can see here, for a simple single benchmark, benchmark, which has no importance at all, it's just one benchmark of a lot of benchmarks, you see GPT-4 40 points, Orca 27 points, GPT-4 50 points, Orca 35 points, but more or less, this means not really a lot of, but you see, just for this single non-representative benchmark, for GPT-4 example, we have here an average of 62 points. With Orca, we have 40 points. So, yeah. But, of course, the internet now for one month is amazed by this Orca, an insane new model. It crushes GPT here better than GPT. We just have seen the difference. Here, introducing Orca, the first open source GPT rival. My goodness, the new chat GPT killer. Yes, I love those videos. I have not seen one of them, but never mind. Now, what the open source community did was amazing because they looked at this on the data set and they said, hey, we can rebuild the Orca data set because we have the Flan 2022 data set from Google. And here on Hugging Face now, you have here the data set, the Open Orca, Open Orca, exactly here the data set. And you see here, you have the system prompt, as I've shown you. Then you have the question as an entry provided by the FLAN 2022 collection, the V2 collection, you have to do the question. And then here you have the GPT-4 response. Isn't that beautiful? So. The open source community said, hey, if Microsoft does not publish the Orca data set, we can rebuild it as a community effort. And this is here published now, some days ago on Hugging Face data set, open Orca, open Orca, which is great and amazing. And now we are live here at Hugging Face, the data set by open Orca, open Orca, you can see here. We have here license MIT. This is four days ago it was published. And as you can see here, we have here exactly the structure. The size is here 4.1 gigabytes. And if you scroll down, you see here the Open Orca dataset. Thrilled to announce that this is a rich collection of augmented FLAN data as best as possible. It aligns with the distribution outlined in the Orca paper. This is great. Special recognition, great sponsors, beautiful languages, yes. Data instances, as I told you, source data. Yeah, they even tell you, hey, we do not have enough data because there's not enough chain of sort data in the FLAN collection to generate 150,000 zero shot entries as the paper purports to use. We suspect this portion was either undocumented or misinterpreted by the original Orca paper. So they have used 75,000 points that are available. So there are slight modification, but great work by the open source community, I have to tell you. So they say combined, this gave us about 1.5 million fewer data points than in the original Orca paper. But completing the set is an ongoing work. So just four days ago, great job. And I would like to show you here the availability. So you have the 1 million GPT-4 augmented data is here, Paki file format with one gigabyte and the 3.5 million GPT-3.5 augmented is about 3.1 gigabyte. So you see Open Orca is here for you. And if you're interested, I don't know, you just jump in and you have here exactly the system prompt. You and AI assistant that helps people find the information. Then you have the question. And then you have here by GPT-4 provided a response. And all of this is now in the training data set to train Orca. But not enough that we have the Orca data set now by the open community. But I found that there is a person here who is, as you can see here, Orca mini version 2.7 billion updated one day ago. We go there 
and you see here somebody trained here really built orker mini for whatever reason and makes this available to the open source community so they say an unsourced llama 7b model my goodness a meta model no don't do this okay they built on a llama 7b model trained here on the data sets created using instruction and input and now they have not the flan version 2 that is now available since some days, but they are working here with Wizard, Alpaca, and the Dolly version 2 datasets. And they apply on this datasets, the Orca research paper dataset instruction and approaches, which is great. Yeah, by the way, this person, hey, I'm open to work. If you can help, please reach out to me and give me a job. So, hey, yeah, community, if you're hiring some great initiative from a single person, I think, here in the open source community, building Orca because Microsoft Research won't provide us with an Orca model and won't provide us with the Orca dataset. The open source community just builds it themselves, which is great. About training, here we get the information. 8A100, 80 gigabyte GPUs, 13 hour cost was about 200 US dollars. They were writing their own fine tuning script. Yes, beautiful. Had some benchmark, as you can see. You can download it, you can use here the official Hugging Face model path. Here you use the Llama tokenizer, which is funny because you have now a model by Microsoft, which uses as a base model here for Orca, the Llama tokenizer and the Llama causal language model, which has a non-commercial license. So you're not allowed this for any commercial purposes. So it's funny how you see the companies Microsoft and Meta, they play here within this open source, but non-commercial activities. So I think, hey, we even have here a hosted inference API. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it is too large to be loaded. It has 26 gigabytes. Yeah, so 7B model, you need 26 gigabytes of VRAM for your model to load. So maybe, this will be over the limit of the normal gamers and GPU from NVIDIA. But anyway, I think it's fascinating that here the open community is working here. If Microsoft or if Meta do not provide us with the data, the open source community is here and we build it ourselves, which is a fascinating topic in itself. I hope this video was informative. I hope you learned something and it would be great to see you in my next video.